quickly Tsirikidze of Georgia takes his seat in the coach's chair, the Olympic champion from Beijing at uh, under 90 kilos. And we're underway. Uchigo, then Uchimata. Uchi, yeah, that's, that's the classic comedy yeah, show yeah, I was looking for. Yeah. When you go to Georgia, at any of the competitions you go to, you just see a mass of 10 to 15 year olds, boys mostly. So the future looks bright for the Georgian judo. Same as in Azerbaijan, Armenia. They've all got incredibly large groups of young boys just crazy about judo. And that camera close-up, you saw those two folks look very tearful. I'm going to guess that that might be the parents of uh, Yamauchi. <laughs> they look very, very moved by yeah, what happened out came there. Came a long way to see that one. And their vid the video cameras were full action. But back to this match, we have no score. Not for lack of action. Mongolian showing some aggression here on the ground. Uh, happy parents, as uh, David was saying. There's a nice turn in. Good entry from Bayara. Couldn't yep. finish off, couldn't turn his man. Couldn't get those shoulders around. Mid and a half or so gone in the contest. Still no score. Both fighters have picked up the one penalty. Oh, that looked a little yeah. better. Zari for uh, the Mongolian. He leads the, uh, the Georgian now. to go um, left-sided there did um, Magliashvili. Stretch was too far though, that left leg was never um, going to be able to cover that all that ground. Just didn't get uh, the support leg planted in the right place. Minute 20 odd. That was the replay there for the Wazadi. Jordan just sort of stuck his leg in there and didn't do much. Got a good turn in. It's somewhere in between a Ochi and Uchimata. He just, I don't know if he's not committing to one or the other. Can't make his mind up. Yeah. <laughs> Turned him again, this time just for Yuko. Trying to work on that arm. Of course, he's doing a good job here. Burning away the clock with his Nawaza. And he looks like he's trying to turn around on that choke. Yeah, he's got the hand in there. What he's got to do is, what he's trying to do here, isolate the lower body and then keep turning around for the choke. Wasn't able to quite pull it off. A feeling maybe his arm was caught on the chin or something like that. It wasn't really tightly wrapped on that. See, that one's away from the referee. 
You see that in uh, slow motion. But you give it for the bridge then. Yeah. There was definitely a lot of rotation. But um, didn't go on his back. He just bridged on uh, his head and went onto his feet. And that's why um, they're going to give it to him. Well, he was in the driver's seat from, from the start. 